Hi, uh, my name is Michael Hughes. I work at University College London, where we are currently working on developing gene therapies for rare neurological disorders, including pneumopic type C. When we're talking about gene therapy, the idea is actually quite simple. It's the use of genetic material as a therapeutic compound to try and treat a genetic disorder. To do this, we need to deliver genetic material into a cell which has a defective gene, which is thereby causing a defective protein and, and causing a disease such as Neiman Pick type C. Now, it's actually quite difficult to deliver genetic, foreign genetic material into our cells because they have a whole series and lines of defenses to try and block foreign DNA from entering them as a form of protection against hostile DNA. So to do this, we actually have to use a vehicle. Our vehicle of choice are viruses. Now, that might sound extreme in the first case, the use of a virus. However, we make it safe. So what we actually do is we use these viruses that have had millions and millions of years to adapt, to overcome and bypass our cell, our cell defenses to deliver their cargo. So what we do is we take out any harmful pieces of DNA and instead replace it with a therapeutic gene. We work on Neiman Pick Type C, so in this case we use MPC1. So you strip that out, put in your therapeutic gene and use this sort of vehicle which is very efficient at delivering its cargo into our cells and it's now delivering a functional copy of the MPC1 gene which then is supposed to take over the role of the non-functioning gene in the cell thereby producing functional MPC1 protein which should have effects on all aspects of disease pathology. So go, going right to the top of the pathological cascade focusing on the source of the disease rather than the downstream effects. So in terms for the Neiman, uh, the Neiman Pick community, it's really quite an exciting time in the field of gene therapy. We're starting to now see, before it was a bit of a sort of, not quite a pipe dream, but you, there was a lot of hype, but we're now actually getting to the stage where there have been some successful clinical trials using, uh, using viral vector mediated gene therapy. These are now coming to fruition. They've made their way successfully through the different stage of clinical trials and now coming into market. We think this these sorts of therapies could also have a huge potential value for Neiman Pick and Neiman Pick Type C, where potentially a one off treatment could have really long term beneficial effects for patients. So it's a, it's a very exciting time in the gene therapy field because we, we are now at the point where there have been a series of successful clinical trials with products now coming to market that have shown some really, really promising clinical data. We think that this approach will also be, should hopefully also be extremely beneficial to the Neiman Pick Type C community, where a single treatment should hopefully have a major disease modifying effect on the disorder. Okay. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate that. Cheers.